Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Moahib. So if you guys remember, about three weeks ago, I did Kerasoy wax with essential oils and the candles are literally right behind me. So they have been curing for about three to four weeks now. And I'm hoping that the hot throw of these candles are as strong as the cold throw because honestly, you guys, every time I'm around these candles, you can smell the cold throw without having to actually pick up the candle and smell it, which is the cold throw that I always like to go for. And the wicks, just to give you a reminder, the wicks that I'm using are tea TCR wicks. I just want to show you guys a bit of a close-up of how TCR wicks work with kerosene wax using essential oils. So I hope that you find value in this video. Without further ado, I'd love for you guys to click on that subscribe button down below. Give this video a huge thumbs up. So with that being said, let's just get straight into today's video. Okay, you guys. So the first candle that I'm burning here is vanilla, ylang ylang, and neroli. And the wick that I'm using is TCR 2412. And I obviously separated all the candles because I am using different fragrances but at the end I will bring all three candles together so you guys can have an idea of which wick works best. As for the second candle I am using wick TCR 2414 and my essential oil mix is rose and neroli and this is the last candle which I moved downstairs when I made these candles this candle right here didn't give me a very strong cold throw so I'll still rate it about seven and a half out of ten cold throw. Hopefully it will um, impress me with a hot throw but we'll wait and see and I'll see you guys back here in an hour. Okay you guys I'm checking in for the first hour burn so in terms of the wick to be fair I'm not even going to judge it yet and say that it's about to um, tunnel but obviously the color of my melt pool is a little bit dark because if you guys remember in my previous video um, the vanilla discolored my wax so I'm guessing that's why the uh, melt pool is slightly of an orangey amber color and in terms of the hot throw I am getting a hot throw of about a seven and a half out of ten actually it's pretty much filling up the bedroom however I'd love to smell a little bit more of the fragrance I'm losing the ylang ylang and neroli a bit I can only smell the vanilla so I'd love to maybe get more of these scents that is a challenge when I'm making my own mix of fragrances is, is I have to find the balance of having to smell all the notes when it's burning but I'm definitely getting a lot more vanilla than neroli and ylang ylang. As for this candle which is in my bedroom um, I'm not getting a hot throw whatsoever at all you guys I can't smell anything and I poured this one at 52 degrees however the wick is not doing too bad actually I'm pretty happy with that flame height is good and um, my wick is doing good um, I'm pretty happy in that sense however obviously I don't have a hot throw which is not good I will need to do obviously further testing with that essential oils is very challenging guys to work with wicking is challenging but having to work with essential oils I think is even more challenging as for the third candle that one is downstairs I definitely can't smell it it's in the living room it is a very open big space but I still can't smell it maybe I can move it to a smaller room and maybe I might get a somewhat of a hot throw but I definitely can't smell nothing at all and I poured this fragrance at 50 degrees celsius which is lower than the one that I previously showed you but I'm kind of surprised why I don't have a hot throw it may be the wax it may be the wick it may be my essential oils but I definitely need to do again further testing on that and in terms of the wick it's actually not doing that bad it's fine it's burning very well actually I'm happy with the wick and the flame height and everything but yeah again hot throw I'm not succeeding with that today all right you guys I am back for hour number two so I can still smell a really good hot throw my candle I think is tunneling I believe the 2412 is slightly small for my 20 centiliter my wick is slightly mushrooming however it's not a mushrooming that i should be worried about my flame is okay it flickers here and there but it's not really a huge problem because my flame height is a really good um height but other than that i'm really happy with this candle actually but i would love to get a bit more um ylang ylang and neroli in my hot throw but other than that it's all good all right you guys so this is for my second candle and i'm starting to smell a hot throw which i'm super happy about honestly i was getting really nervous i'm not getting a hot throw at all from this one earlier on but two hours in i am starting to get a hot throw i could definitely smell the fragrance inside the bedroom i am happy with the flame i'm happy with the way the candle's going it's not mushrooming at all the flame height is good flickering but it's very very tiny flickering it's not something that i'm going to worry about but other than that i'm actually pretty happy with it i love that i can smell the rose and neroli as well let's move on to downstairs 
All right, and this is for the last candle, again for the second hour burn. Flame height is good as well. I, my, I don't have any mushrooming on my wick, which is great. It's burning pretty nicely and slowly, but I'm still not getting a hot throw. I mean, I can smell a fragrance, but honestly, I can't even consider that a hot throw. I can't smell anything, which is weird because I've poured this fragrance at 50 degrees and the ones upstairs are just above 50 degrees. Maybe 50 degrees Celsius is not the right one, or maybe it's my wax. So I really need to do further testing for this one. But yeah, very sad about this one to be fair. I'm pretty happy with the one upstairs that I started giving me hot throw. But for this one, I'm not getting hot throw at all. I'll get back to you guys at hour number three. All right, guys. So this is hour number three. I'm still getting a very good hot throw. The vanilla is very, very strong. I'm getting a bit of a small flickering flame there. But again, it's not really a problem. My candle, I think, is tunneling. It's been three hours now. And I would kind of expect a full melt pool. But I'm not there yet. All right. And this is for the second candle. I'm sorry. I know the lighting keeps going dark and light again. But um, I'm very happy with the hot throw for this one. It's definitely getting stronger. I'm definitely about an 8 out of 10 hot throw. But I think I may want to try actually prune my fragrance at 55 degrees. And seeing how that may work work out the wick is not doing too bad i'm hoping i'm hoping that when i get to the bottom of that container that wax over there would, would have been already melted off but other than that you guys i'm pretty happy with it as for the candle downstairs i'm not getting a hot throw however i am loving how it's burning as well i'm hoping as this flame as well gets to the bottom of the container i will not have any wax residue here around the sides i'd love to hear your thoughts down below in terms of wicking all right you guys and for the last hour burn here are all the wicks the scandal here is looking darker than it is in real life but it's not that dark i promise the wicks are doing pretty well my favorite wick out of all three of them i think is the 2112 and the 2414 the 2412 i believe um it's a bit too small for my 20 centiliter candle container however you guys i just realized something you see all these, let me zoom in. You see all these like dots, or I don't know what they call it. Not too sure if I'm describing it properly, but I'm worried that my vanilla may have separated or is separating. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm, I don't know why I'm getting these dots. And if you guys remember that the vanilla that I poured for this candle was very, very dark, that it discolored my wax very, very much. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, on the candle container, obviously you can't see it, but now that I'm burning it, do you think my vanilla separated? Do you think it didn't bind with the wax? Because I did pour it at 48 degrees and it may be too cool um, for my wax. So I'm not too sure now, um, but let me know if you guys have an idea of what these are. I mean, these two candles are not giving me that vibe at all because I've poured this one at 50 degrees and this one at 52 degrees and this one is at 48 degrees. But yeah, other than that, you guys, I'm actually pretty happy with the TCR wicks. Other than the um, little flickering here and there, um, honestly, it's not like a dangerous flicker where my flame is going at a really, really high and it doesn't flicker that much. It only flickers a little bit and yeah that is the end of the burn testing and i'll see you guys tomorrow for the post burn results so this is the uh post burn results or the reset results and it's pretty good actually very smooth just a slight bit of frosting there but it's barely visible honestly that doesn't bother me this is the second candle right here again very smooth I really love the way carousel sets after it's been burnt. But this one, unfortunately, I got a lot of the um, vanilla fragrance oil kind of separated, I think, from the wax, you guys, that it cooled down in that way. And you could also see it in the melt pool earlier on. So I think my vanilla, you guys, never binded with my wax. And I probably think it's because I poured my fragrance at 48 degrees. So next time, I think 48 degrees for my essential oils does not work because because clearly my fragrance separated. Um, let me know if you guys agree with me that that is my fragrance separating or it's just the fact that the vanilla is just a very dark amber color that it gave me this type of um, reset results. So do let me know. But other than that, 
it's all good i hope you guys enjoyed me testing out the tcr wicks and burn testing my essential oil candles to just see how basically it worked for me i was so happy that the rosa neroli candle actually came through after the second hour burn and i could really smell it inside the bedroom i'm really disappointed with the one that i actually left downstairs i, I couldn't smell it at all i definitely want to play around more with essential oils with carousel and in terms of the two other candles i'm actually going i'm actually doing a second burn test there and i thought it just the candles looked cute behind me the tcr works that they worked out pretty good for my candles so the cl and the tcr works i'm pretty happy with the results that i got with my carousel wax i'm definitely looking forward to doing more testing with the tcr wicks with them and see how far i get i think with the 20 centiliter candle containers they're much easier to wick than the 30 centiliter candle containers i'm still struggling with my 30 centiliters i'm not gonna lie i'm still going through double wicking and single wicking and also mixing different waxes it's a lot of testing that i'm doing i'm actually going to be burn testing like 10 candles in a little bit just to see how the wicking is for my 30 centiliter but with my 20 centiliter i'm actually getting much more better results than my 30 centiliter i'm hoping i'm hoping with my 30 centiliter jar i get better results over time because oh guys it's a nightmare it's, it's really frustrating sometimes i'm not gonna give up on it of course if you guys have any recommendations on uh what wicks you use for your 30 centiliter i'd love to hear it in the comment section down below maybe i could try it out and see if that works for me i'm a little bit sad that one of my candles did not give me the hot throw that i was looking for but that's okay practice makes perfect especially that i've never used essential oils with kerosene before to be fair up to now I've tested uh, various of waxes already and the only wax that never let me down with essential oils is 464 and um, i'm thinking to actually work with 464 again for just my essential oils not for fragrance oils if i don't have any luck getting the hot throw that i am looking for because with 464 i got the hot throw that i was looking for in my candles but anyway i'm not gonna give up on carousel just yet obviously that's only my first time testing over essential oils also you guys i do want to say a little something for those of us that do work with essential oil candles try not to get so frustrated with it because i know how hard and challenging it is to work with essential oils trust me i get disappointed and i get challenged and frustrated sometimes and i got disappointed and sad with one of the candles that didn't give me a hot throw but, but honestly with time you'll end up getting the hang of things you end up getting the results that you are looking for it may not be the essential oils it may be the wax it may be the wick definitely do try different types of waxes out there try different types of wick series out there and see what works best for your candles everything will be fine trust me and you will get the hang of it and you will be getting the results that you are looking for in your candles it just it's just a matter of time and experience and more practice practice and more testing but don't the candles look really cute in the background you guys especially now that autumn and winter is coming around everyone's going to be burning a cute little candle i mean it's literally the candle season i think burning a candle just gives a whole different vibe to our homes so definitely do enjoy making candles during this beautiful season and if you are selling i wish you the best of luck with your sales especially for autumn winter collections and scents but yeah you guys i just thought i'd put a little positive energy out there for you guys i am going to end today's video right here and say thank you very much for watching and you guys we are almost at 1000 subscribers we're literally over 900 subscribers and oh my god i can't believe it i can't believe that we're so close to 1000 thank you guys very much for your support i'm forever grateful for you you guys like you don't understand how much i am grateful for every single one of you that watches my videos subscribes to my channel just comments and engages in general with me and my channel Channel. thank you guys very much with that said i'd love for you guys to click on that subscribe button down below give this video a huge thumbs up comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time i post have a great week and i'll see you in my next video bye guys